Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to troubleshoot a failure and also understand the working of rollbacks. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll go to our CFN signal script wherein we had mentioned the sample weight condition and defined it over here with the creation policy. So in this case, what we had uh, considered timeout is to be PT 4M that is around 4 minutes but if I change it to 1 minute let's see whether it works or not so I'll be creating a stack using this newly saved file which is this one okay next I'll be going to stack CFN Signal failure for SSH key. You can select your own SSH key. Mine was AWS code deploy, which I previously created. For the tags, I'll be considering name to be my instance. Okay, I am role, I'll keep it as it is. Else the Everything, I'll be keeping them as it is and submit. Now, all the events will be visible over here. You can see that SSH security group got created. My instance creation started. Or initiated and see that the creation of this instance is also been completed. We'll go to EC2. We can see that it's in a running state. Okay. Now you can see that there was an error in this case why this happened let me tell you so within the user data we had mentioned all these commands right related to cfn init now if my cfn init was not able to give metadata within this particular time span then it won't be able to validate for the CFN signal. And since it is not able to validate it, it gave us an error and then creation failed, right? But just if I am an unknown user, right? And I want to debug the problem, I couldn't debug, why? Because this rollback has initiated and everything got deleted including this ec2 instance as well you can see that this got terminated so without knowing the error or the without being able to understand the logs or view logs we are not able to debug this error so this is the major problem with rollback in progress or rollback a condition that it deletes the EC2 which doesn't uh, help us for debugging right so for that case we have to disable the rollbacks now I'll use the same script for the other stack create stack new resources for template is ready and now be choosing the same file the CFN signal. Next, I'll be entering CFN signal debugging. Okay. Now for the SSH key, I'll be using the same key. For tags again, I'll be adding the same thing. My new instance okay now in this stack failure options previously i had rollback 
right but now this time i want it to preserve the provision resources okay i want those resources so that i can troubleshoot the failure and accordingly provide particular solution for it right submit Now we can see that the creation is in progress. Security group creation got completed. Now you can see that our sample weight condition failed, right? But still the instance is created and the overall debugging failed of course but our instance let go let's go over here refresh it okay now you can see my new instance right we'll just keep the running instances okay so you can see that the instance is still running because we didn't use or disabled the rollback because of which even after the creation got failed it kept our provision resources as it is so now we can connect to this particular resource and get the logs so that we'll understand the actual reason for that particular error and we'll be easily able to debug it in this case i can go to cloud in it output dot log sorry I didn't mention cat over here it's log only Now you are able to view all the logs for that particular instance and you can see that here there is a validation error where stack is in create fail state and cannot be signaled. Why? Because it couldn't signal that particular CFN in it in that given duration like we had mentioned four minutes earlier but this time we mentioned just one minute because of which it couldn't complete the whole process in that particular duration and hence it failed so in this way we can debug the failure by disabling rollbacks but it's of course not the most ideal case but if you require the if you want to debug it this is the best way possible so hope you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel if you found the videos helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the new updates thank you so much and have a nice day